We're jumping right into We're today. jumping right into difficulty <laughs> level two. So this first one is just saying, draw all possible stereoisomers for the following. If no stereoisomer is possible, label it as such. Okay. First thing we have to do here, build it. Uh-huh, yeah. So okay. naming. Let's do it. So I will have my, it's a six and it's cyclo, so it's like a ring. Perfect. Like this, that's perfect. And it appears. And it all of a sudden, <laughs> and then I have, I will label it one and two. Okay. Just cause I think that's what I'm used to. But on the one, there's a bromo, so like a bromo. Okay. That's perfect, thank you. And then on the two, there's a chloro. Good. Cyclohexane. Like exactly. This. That's six. We know this is six. Okay. I know that one, bromo means bromine. Mm -hmm. Two, chloro means chlorine. That's exactly correct. Now, we've built what this is. Uh -huh. What's the question asking? Um, draw all the possible stereoisomers. How do we know how many are possible? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Okay. <laughs> do we know? Okay. So this is going to go back to chirality, specifically chiral centers. So there's a little formula here uh -huh. where it's the number of possible stereoisomers. It does not mean that they're all going to be there. Uh -huh. uh, it's just the possibility of them is 2 raised to the nth power. N just means the number of chiral centers. So the first thing we have to do is, after we build it, identify how many chiral centers we have. Okay. Plug it into the formula as N, and that's going to tell us the number of possibilities. Okay. So how many chiral centers do we have? Is it just two? Good. Where right. are they? Okay, mm -hmm. I would say it's right where the, like, I, the, I labeled them. Mm -hmm. Like that corner right there and then that carbon right there. Good. What's a chiral center? A uh, chiral center is a carbon atom that has four different groups. Perfect. Connected, right? <laughs> so yeah, if I'm looking at a chiral center, chiral carbon, uh, stereogenic center, so many things, uh, what is it, asymmetrical. There's so many words, really? okay? There's oh, so many no. different words that you might hear. Okay. But all this is referring to is just saying that there are four different groups surrounding that atom. Yeah. That's it. I know four different groups surrounding that atom. This is the chiral center. Yeah. And then if you're not sure, remember there are hydrogens here, uh -huh. right? There is a hydrogen that's actually right there. Right. So I know here, this is one group, another group, and what gets tricky is the ring. Yeah. I'm just looking here at a carbon, really a CH2, uh -huh. right? And a carbon connected to bromine. That's two different groups uh -huh. because of this substituent. Yeah. However, if this wasn't here, that would not have been a chiral center. That's true. Because these two groups are now the same. Yeah, that's true. But luckily that's not the case, so we do have two chiral centers. Same concept, again, for this one. If I'm looking at this guy, uh -huh. I'm gonna put that on the carbon. We still have a hydrogen. So again, one group, second group that's different. Mm -hmm. Looking at the carbons here. Yeah. This is a CH2. This is a carbon connected to chlorine. Uh -huh. Yep, they're different. So, so far, so good. You're right, just wanted to show how we got to that conclusion. Uh -huh. Now, going back to this, if we have two chiral centers, so that's N. Mm -hmm. So two squared. Four. Four. Okay. So that's it. Not your question. I'm not trying to scare you with math. I know there's barely any math in this in OCHEM, but that's there's like funny. there's a very small amount of math. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So I know that four is the possible amount of stereoisomers. Uh -huh. So so far we know that there it is a possibility. The question is asking us to draw all of them. So Ooh. how do we do that? Yeah, it's intense. Okay. Stereochemistry involves dashed and wedged bonds. Okay. So we're pretty much just switching it up, and we know there's going to be four possible mm -hmm. ones. So instead of, like, though I got this right with this, where this is a solid line, uh -huh. that's not stereochemistry. Stereochemistry, again, is when I involve dashed, dashed uh -huh. and wedged bonds. Okay. So we can switch it up. Like, what's all the different possible ways that we can have these two to make four possible stereoisomers. Okay. That's what we're doing. So we can start off with the first one. Maybe it's wedged and wedged. Yeah. And I'm gonna have you keep building, so. Mm -hmm. So another one. I could do like wedged and dashed. Good. Right. 
And we'll keep it, yeah, good. We'll keep it the exact same. And then I can do um, another widget dash, just like switch Yes. Them. Okay. And then last but not least, we could do dash dash. Let me scoot this guy up. Good. Like that. That's it. Those are all the possibilities. This one is just flipping. Okay, great. And also something to note is I know that this is not a miso compound. Yes. Does that sound familiar? Miso does. I can't remember what it was, though. It's symmetry? <laughs> it's symmetry. It's, that, okay. it's an internal line of symmetry. Good. Okay. So there is no internal line because these are different. Uh -huh. They're different substituents. That's why I can't just cut this in half right. and say that they're going to mirror each other. Yes, yes. So I can have two different ones here where this is da this is a wedged and wedged and uh -huh. this is dashed and dashed. Okay. That's why there is a possibility of four stereoisomers here. Oh, so if it was both bromines and it would only be two? So we wouldn't have this one. So like let's say if, if you're saying if this was bromine and bromine, I'm uh -huh. going to steal this one here. So these are exactly the same. Oh, that's true, they are. There's an internal line of symmetry. It's a miso compound. I know that I can't have this. This is not a possibility. Okay. So there would only be three stereoisomers if that were the case. Oh. Though, there, though the formula tells us there's four, right. it's just the possibility of four. It's not a definite thing of, yeah, there's going to be four. Oh. This is a starting point. Oh, okay. And then it now, and now it builds. So then you knowing what is miso, what yeah. is, you know, what or meso, uh -huh. pick one. <laughs> I like the soup, so I'm going to pick miso. Like <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so hint, hint, that'll come in handy. Okay. But for now, I at least know, okay, this is what it looks like. There really are four that were possible, okay. and yes, there were four. So your complete answer would be all of these. Okay. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.